Well guys, welcome back to another video. Beautiful day today. Blue skies, clear skies. Hey. Now if you're watching this video right now and you see that the sound is amazing, it's because I got a new mic and I finally got the perfect mic. Uh, no more shitty sounds. Super happy about it. That whole mic situation had me stressed, man. I went through five different mics trying to figure out which one would work the best and had a lot of issues. It is a beautiful day, as you can see. 72 degrees. Once again, I had to wait for the whole week to pass by to, uh, to get on the bike. We've had crazy, crazy rain, storm after storm, literally all week. So yeah, in today's discussion video, we're gonna be discussing things you should know before buying an Iron A83. And we're gonna try to cover a little bit of everything from pricing to performance. So first things first, if you are on the market looking for a bike and you are interested in the Iron 83, if you're a tall guy, then go that way because this is not the bike for you. Uh, if you're on six feet, I honestly do not recommend this bike for you. Uh, this bike sits really low and you're gonna feel really, really scrunched up. I'm a short guy. I'm 5'7". Uh, and to me, you know, I've, the height and everything, the, the seat, the seating on it is perfect for me. I don't feel scrunched up. Uh, my knees are right here. They're not all the way coming up there, you know? So I don't feel scrunched up. I'm really comfortable. And it's good. <laughs> uh, it's like you know that feeling when you haven't been on your bike for a while, you just wanna get on and just wanna hit the road. Feels so good, man. So another thing you should know, if you're the type of rider who's gonna be doing long distance rides, um, and I'm talking about, you know, over four, if you're gonna be riding for over four hours in a day or so, it's, this bike is, uh, I kinda don't recommend this bike for you. Uh, it's not the most comfortable bike, you know? It's a Sportster, so it's gonna, it's really rough. The suspension on this bike is not the best, but for what I have here, for what I wanted for it, to me, it's suitable. It's fine. I don't ride that much, you know? Uh, I, I go out, I might go take my bike out for a ride once or twice a week, and it's, I usually mostly for recreational. Uh, now that it's warmer out, I'm probably gonna be commuting to work, and I only work a few miles away, so for me, it's, it's not that bad, you know? But if you're the type of rider who's gonna be taking really long distance rides, this bike is not for you. Suspension is rough. Uh, the seat is comfortable for a while, you know? After two hours on this seat, you might get a little bit uncomfortable. But these are things that obviously, you know, if you want to upgrade, you can do that, change the seat out, change the suspension out. Um, but like I mentioned before, why are you gonna go spend all that money when you can just get a different bike from the beginning? It just doesn't make any sense. Now, performance-wise, if you're looking for an around town bike, if you're looking for a good city bike, um, something to ride around town, something to stay around local, this is the bike for you. This is a great city bike, great, great around town bike. Despite of what you hear and everything, this bike is great on taking corners. The lean angle on it is pretty damn good. I like to take my turns a bit aggressive at times and lean over a lot. Now performance wise, the bike is good. Like I said before, for an around the town bike, for uh, as a daily commuter, performance is great. It's 
it's definitely a torquey and peppy bike. Um, I have slip-ons on this, but if you even go a step forward and maybe go with a full exhaust system and an air cleaner on it, it's definitely going to give you a big change-up. Um, I'm actually right now in the market looking for an air cleaner. Uh, and since I have the uh, my slip-ons ready and I'll probably get a fuel pack and that's going to give me a little more boost, you know? Not a big crazy amount, but it's, it's going to definitely give me a little boost. So, when it comes to performance, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, if, if you're going to be trying to keep up with your buddies on the highway and if they're riding sport bikes or, or if they're just hitting like 180 the whole time, you're going to have trouble keeping up. The max I've hit this bike is around 80. And from what I heard, it kind of taps out around 90. So at 80, yeah, at 80, it does feel like it's giving it its all in. It's gonna, it's about to tap out. But with a few changes here and there, the bike will definitely wake up. Now, another thing you should know is that this bike is definitely an eye catcher. Everybody loves this bike. Even the haters like this bike. It's a beautiful bike. So anywhere you're gonna pull up, you're definitely gonna get that attention. Um, it's definitely a cool looking bike. It's awesome. It, it, it's like a, a raw feel, raw looking bike. It looks like it just came straight out of the 40s. And everybody just always stops and stares at it. I get out of the complaints anywhere I, uh, I pull up and I get off my bike and I always have a lot of people trying to start conversations with me and at times I don't even know what it is until they look at the logo and you know they're quite impressed with it you hear Harley and most of the people they're gonna think oh uh, chrome dot bike with tall bars and everything else Now, they're making out a lot of these uh, all blacked out bikes, which is very different. They look really good. Especially the iron. All right, another thing you should know before getting this bike is that the gas mileage is really good. The tank isn't that big, but it, um, it's suitable for me. The type of riding I do, the tank is fine. Um, and the, uh, the gas mileage on it is not that bad. You're probably going to get around 40 miles to the gallon. Which just isn't bad. But you also got to think about what type of riding you're going to do. Hey, look at my reflection there. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but it looks fucking awesome. Now, the pricing for this bike, I think it's, it's at a really good, really good price point. I think you're going to get a lot for your buck. You're looking at around $8,600 for a brand new bike. And I think it's worth it. I think you're getting a lot of bike for, for your money. And now that we're talking about money, even when it comes to insurance, your insurance is going to be way cheaper on this bike than if you were to get uh, any other bike with a bigger engine. And that's because this bike has a 800cc engine, you know? So, the smaller the engine, the cheaper your uh, insurance is. Now this is a Sportster, so you're only gonna have five gears on here, as opposed to having six gears on the bigger bikes. Um, I really wish this bike had uh, six gears, but who knows? I think in the near future, they're, they're, they're gonna be changing up this bike a lot. They're probably going to be adding a lot of different things to it. Um, and hopefully, that six gear will be one of them. That would be a pretty nice perk. If you want to hear any more of my ideas of what this bike should have, I'm going to put the link in the end for another video that I did for five things that I wish my Iron 883 had. Where I go into detail about the five things that I wish my iron had. And these are things that I, they could easily, as a company, they could easily, you know, fix, add on. And I think that uh, it'll make the bike 
much, much, much better. Now this bike is really small, so you're able to um, store it pretty much anywhere. Um, I don't have a garage. I'm not fortunate enough to have a garage in my house. So I keep the bike behind my house and I cover it up. Um, but I'm able to put it in a little nook where it's like completely out of the way. And that's because the bike is, you know, small. So I'm able to do that. What is this? <laughs> a little gram or something? Now the braking on this bike is okay. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the best. Uh, but it has pretty good stopping power. They definitely bite down a lot. And I've, I've never had an issue where, you know, I, I've, I've had to brake quickly and then, you know, I've, I'm, I've said, oh my god, no, I wish I would have had more power to stop even before that. Like, I haven't had that issue yet. So it's pretty good. Yeah, I see you checking my bike. Now I guess the final thing that I have to say about this bike is that it is definitely a ton of fun. Um, aesthetically, it's a beautiful bike. Uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing bike to ride. I've learned so much. This is my first bike. And I've learned so much riding this bike. Uh, about riding. Um, and I've become a better rider because of it. It's definitely a good bike to start on. It's a good platform. It's something that you can easily adjust to. And if you're a woman, if you're a man, this bike is definitely suitable for you. And it's just so... You can do so much to this bike. You can customize it and... And, and turn it into a different bike from what it is. From engine to, you know, anything from performance to looks to everything. This bike, there's just so much you can do to it. So you have an affordable bike that you customize and do whatever you want with it. A bike that you can get, and if you're a new rider, you can um finish learning on it you can learn so much from it you get really comfortable on the road and you know if later down the line you want to trade up something bigger then you have this bike to thank for <laughs> i love it i'm completely in love with my bike um i'm pretty happy with my decision that i made when i first got it and i uh i don't think i would have changed that for nothing It just sounds amazing. These new engines that they have now, the 107 and the 114s on the bigger bikes, on the soft tail lineup, they, um, they're not gonna give you this type of feeling. This is probably the last, the Sportsters are probably the last, I could say, real, real feel Harley Davidson bikes. And I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of criticism for this down in the comments below, but fuck you, I don't care. The way this engine feels is amazing. It gives you that little Harley Davidson shake. The sound that these uh, that these exhausts make is perfect. And on these new bikes, you you don't get that. You know, you the, they hardly have any engine vibration. Um, they're definitely quieter. You know, this bike definitely makes it. Uh, it, it, it kind of brings you, uh, it molds you with it. You become one with it and one with the road. And that feeling is, it's even hard to explain. But the way this bike makes me feel is like, man, I'm free to do whatever I want. I feel cool on it. <laughs> um, and it's just an, an amazing looking bike. Come on, guys. Get the fuck out of here.
Well, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button. It's going to notify you anytime I have a new video. Um, I try to upload at least once a week. I have another video coming up, possibly this Sunday. Being that it's going to be clear. And uh, if you guys have any ideas, any good options uh, for an air cleaner, please leave the comments down below. Um, right now I'm a little undecisive. I'm looking in between three. Uh, but I would love to hear your feedback. Drop it down below. If you're going to get a bike and this is the one you're looking for, I definitely recommend it. Go ahead, try it. Go to your Neil's uh, Harley dealership. Take it for a test ride. See how you feel on it. And let me know what you think. I love the feedback, guys. And as always, ride safe and enjoy the ride. Peace. And as always, guys, ride safe and enjoy the ride. Peace.